Today I'm gonna make a chocolate mint cake cootery board. Welcome to our new studio. I know this studio looks similar to our last studio and that's because we moved a lot of the set here, but it is different and stick around, I'll give you a tour. And this is kind of the perfect thing for me to make because it's quick, it's easy and it's flavorful. So let's get that done and then you can see behind the scenes. Let's start with Italian meringue buttercream. You guys have watched me use this basically for years. I love it, I swear by it. It's a fluff. How dare this fluff enter the studio? You boil a sugar syrup, sugar and water, you bring it to 240 degrees, and then while you're raising the temperature of that sugar syrup, you're gonna start to whip your egg whites. When it hits temp, you're gonna pour the sugar into the egg whites. It's gonna build a beautiful fluffy white meringue. Keep whipping that until it's completely cool, and then we start to shovel in butter. Now it's time to prepare my cake. So I have an eight inch square chocolate cake layer, which I'm going to remove from the pan and then I'm going to level and layer. Guys, I didn't even show you what I got for the studio. Can I show you? Cause you know how I always just blurt things out and then we never do anything with it? Ridiculously good ideas. So every time I say something or you guys say something, we're gonna write it in this book. Nice. Well, Squeeze, how excited are you? She's shy now. She's shy today, I don't know why. So thin. I'm doing it thinner, which I already explained to them before you ask, so that... It's the thinnest that you've ever made. And it's pretty much the thinnest I can do it, but I want there to be a nice cross section of cake and buttercream. I see. The buttercream is ready. I'm using Color Mill colors for the first time and they are oil-based. This is a new experience for me and I rarely get new cake decorating experiences. So I'm really excited. Oh, girl, I wasn't ready. It's more liquidy, so it came out really quickly. And I'm aiming for a really specific mint. I like to take some buttercream out and test out the colors because you can't remove color. So if you just start to color the whole batch, you can't change it, you have to make more buttercream. Do we like this? It could be a bit more strong. Yeah, because it'll probably look lighter, yeah. right? Okay, so now I'm gonna add some peppermint oil. This is really potent, so you wanna add as little as you can. I, I couldn't find an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh, and it missed the spoon entirely. So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm gonna make six layers of cake. Yes, I am. I just decided. I'm bringing this to the fridge. Chill time. Chill time. Okay, so I'm gonna make bark. You should just go, I'm gonna make, and then you have like a dog bark. Yeah, do it, do it. So right now, I'm gonna make chocolate mint. So if you don't have time to cake, I'll forgive you, but you should have time to make this chocolate mint bark. I just bought a whole bunch of chocolate bars. To decorate the top of the bark, I just have a selection of chocolate mint candies. This one's so ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna fill up the tray with chocolate and I'm gonna cover every inch of the surface. Okay, look, I did it. I deserve a prize. Look at that. I upset the gods. The after eight gods are like, <laughs> it's it not after eight. And now I'm gonna put this in the oven really low, but I just wanna see it get soft. Then I'll take it out, swirl it up, add the toppings. Around the lights. Hello. Okay. You just hang out in there. See how she's jiggly? Can you see the jiggle? This is a scribe. This is for people who make sugar cookies. SoFlo, and I've never used it. Speaking of SoFlo. We're gonna be going. I need to scribe the chocolate. So now I'm just gonna like, trying to make like, So once you've mixed your chocolate together, get rid of the air bubbles. I've been battling air bubbles all day. <laughs> I'm gonna throw on the chopped up arrow. You wanna do this, I mean the chocolate is still warm and melted, so. 
It's still warm now, so I kind of want to let it cool a bit to room temperature, maybe 10 minutes. And then I'll put it in the fridge for like 20. Come on, Bark, let's go. My Bark is set. It's cool, it's minty, it's chocolatey. And now I'm going to destroy it. No, I'm gonna just break it up. Can we, sh can I just, can we just? You should make a Neapolitan ice cream bark. Oh my God, I need to, sh stop, stop. Neapolitan bark. Yeah. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> just stop. Putting the crunch, there we go. I think this piece is a little bit ugly. Let me just take care of that. So here's my cake. I iced the top off camera, I apologize. But you guys have seen me ice. Now it's nice and chilled. First I'm gonna cut the edges off. A thin layer. I just wanna see a clean cross section. See how easy it cuts when it's cold? This is so satisfying. I realize I went too far. I can't make easy cakes. Yeah. I have to make it harder for myself. And now this is just too tall. And the truth is, as this warms up and comes to room temperature, these would just fall over. So I'm gonna trim my cake. I'm gonna trim the bottom off so it's shorter. Okay, I'm ready to assemble this cake cuterie board. This is actually two stands. This one belongs here at How to Cake It, and this is from my house. Oh, you're right. Is it good that it's right in front of my face? Is this thing on? Okay, ready? Cake first. So Orhan thinks I should make this stand with a bit of everything on each tier. I like to organize. You guys know I'm an organizer. You see what I mean? Even the way I'm placing the cake. Now I'm gonna go in with some of the other treats, the Oreos and whatnot. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. A fan of After Eight. I think it's the perfect touch. It's gonna freshen everything up. It's gonna make it healthy. There you go, balance. <gasps> Here, like a crown. I'm leaving this on the turntable that we use for photography because why should I walk around the table? Oh, but first, I promised you a studio tour. So cut to the studio tour. Hello and welcome. This is the room I haven't had any time for. We have high hopes for this room though. It has a lot of sunlight. We're thinking like a meeting room, inspiration room. It's not very inspiring right now. <laughs> we'll get back to you. This is a hallway filled with stuff we haven't put up yet. We don't know what people did here, but there's spilt coffee all over this unit. Are you sure it's coffee? It's I hope so. <laughs> Are you hoping it's blood splatter? Hey, this is how to cake it. Look, this is why you should care. Don't you feel different? Yeah, like you, this When is you great. walk out here, you're like, bing! You've got to do it like you're trying to win! Welcome to the prep kitchen. What's that cake for? This is for my Baking Happy class. When is it? April 12th. I'm making my grapefruit novelty cake, so I dyed the batter. It's baked. It's one of the simpler cakes, and that's why I'm only making one. I left out orange, lemon, lime didn't make the cut for the class. We're gonna focus on grapefruit. So we have a lot of fun, and you can ask me anything uh, while we're working. Listen to her, okay? We're giving you the spotlight, go ahead. We need stainless steel cleaner we ran out. You can see that she's very streaky. I don't like that. We close this door when we're filming, and when the shoes are on the door, it means we're filming. You see that? Oh. <laughs> and eventually we want a TV screen so we can run How to Cake It on a loop because we've never seen it. That's the set. That's it entirely. Again, we're still judging it up, but now we can film in here like we just did, which is great. And it's only going to get better and better. And we'll make sure to show you the final product. Right. Thank you. Look at Cut with Orhan in the sprinkle chair. Who told you you could sit on my phone? Oh, I'm so sorry. You have to put out your pinky. It's sophisticated. So I will see you guys next week. We'll have more cake, more ridiculously good ideas. If you have any ridiculously good ideas for us, please comment below. And uh, thanks for joining me. Orhan, pull up a seat.